My Tennessee Titans have fallen flat on their face, and oh my gosh, how could this have it happen, Evan? They they have Derrick Henry. They have Derrick Henry, guys. I mean, you know what? How how could that possibly happen? Well, I'll tell you how, how it could happen. Let let's just break it down. Pretty much is that the Tennessee Titans got the, there's a couple things that number one when John Robinson, who just got fired, came into the team in 2016, he changed the culture. Because we were a broken culture. We had Jeff Fisher for years who accepted 500 as mediocrity. And by the time John Robinson was taken over, we were just coming off a 3-13 and season. And we had the number one overall pick in the 2016 draft. And John Robinson did a fantastic job. He nailed it. He he got a boatload because the Rams wanted Jared Goff so bad, which makes no sense now. And he just got a boatload for that. He got DeMarco Murray. He developed, well, we'll get to that. Marcus Mariota was flinging it. All things was, were going well for the Titans. Since 2016, we finished 9-7. and seven. We've made, we've had multiple playoff trips since then. And still to this day, although we have a losing record 7-8 and eight currently, uh, we had never had a losing record under his tenure. So that's a lot of success. But there's really a lot of stuff that was going beyond the scenes. Let's, let's just break it down. So number one, we had terrible coaches when John Robinson came into place. And I don't know if he picked these guys, but Mike Malarkey, uh, Terry Robisky, our offensive coordinator, had no idea how to call an offense. They wanted to dial up stuff from the 80s when they were players. They wanted they they were acting like they were the ones playing. Um, And they killed Marcus. Mariota tore his ACL his second year. His third year, he could barely even run around and walk. That wild card game at the Chiefs back in 2017, Mariota carried us. And that little did we know that was Mariota's last gasp. That was it for Mariota in his third year because his coaches murdered him. They murdered him all, all throughout his first three years because they had him doing weight. Mariota could throw. People look at him, oh, Marcus Mariota can't throw. He can't throw because he got hit so much in his first couple years because they would rather run. And again, it's okay to get your quarterback on the move. No, they were doing design runs to go right in the defensive line, and he would just get pummeled day in and day out until and you know it did that's just that's just how it ended. So eventually, so that's Mariota. That has nothing to do with the Titans, but that little did we know that was the downfall of that because we hired Mike Vrabel, which was a great hire. John Robinson still still year three, year four, still doing a great job. He might, hires Mike Vrabel, cans Mike Malarkey, who um again clearly had no intention to help Mariota but by then it was too late Mariota was gas so it's like okay so our our quarterback's done our quarterback's done but we're not done we're still a great team that's when Derrick Henry starts to rise because Derrick Henry which is the key point of this is that Derrick Henry rises and the Titans are back we make the AFC championship game we come so close to a Super Bowl Tannehill does so well yes the Titans are geniuses they're back they're back but little did they know the Titans had no interest in sustaining that. And unfortunately that does include our general manager, John Robinson, who had no interest in sustaining that. Oh, we're a small market team. We can't pay. How can we pay AJ Brown? What, what, let's just give them the Eagles, make them better. Let's make them better. Not the Titans better. Um, Let's make the Eagles better. Let's make, I'm trying to think Arthur Smith. Oh, Arthur Smith. Uh, he can't coach. Let's give him the Falcons. Um, Offense takes a dive right after that. And then, and then again, it's the little moves. Oh, Julio Jones, Julio Jones. Oh, he can replace AJ Brown. Uh, Robert Woods, man, that guy's just like AJ Brown. No, he's a thirty-year, two-year-old who can barely move around. That's what Robert Woods is. And the Titans got cute. Um, and the re- two reasons Javon Robinson got cute because again, let's just sum this all up again. The coaching staff was bad. John Robinson was good, but the problem is, is John Robinson fell apart, and that's why he just got fired. Is because he got cute. He thought. Derrick Henry is the almighty and he was for a while, but he can't carry the team. He carried it that one year, but he can't carry it every year. Derrick Henry's although we don't need AJ Brown. We don't need all this. Um, and we just stopped. We, we, we stopped, we stopped developing good offense alignment. We don't need Jack Conklin. We don't, we don't need any of those guys. Cause we got Derrick Henry. Um, and that's just, that's really what you got to consider. That's why the Titans have downfalled. Tannehill started falling apart. Um, and now it's just, it's, it's a circus. Now we, we fired the general manager. So I don't know what happens next for the Titans. Yes. They're sitting at seven and eight, 
they could beat Jacksonville, go to the playoffs because Jacksonville is not all that. But what happens next? We don't have a GM. We have a quarterback that our coaches, once again, have no interest in developing. So as a Titans fan, um, I like the Vrabel hire. I like the beginning of the term, but the Titans look screwed right now. And I don't really see a way it out. And Henry's not going to carry him out. Mike Vrabel's not going to carry him out either. So this is from a disheartened Titans fan. Let's get you back in the mix here, Jake. Um, what do you got to say to that? Okay, well, first of all, I love your enthusiasm. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just had a couple of things for this Titan game call. You know, they lost five straight. You know, Malik, Malik Willis isn't playing well, you know. Since Kanga Hill got injured, Kanga Hill wasn't playing well before he got hurt. Um, you know, Robert Woods, you know, like you were saying, big signing, I thought. But, you know, one touchdown this year, it's not really a lot. I mean, one touchdown. And then, I didn't even know it was that. That's pathetic. He, he, he'll he he'll fill in for A.J. Brown, I guarantee you. Whatever. Then, <laughs> then just the defense. I mean, they've just been giving up too many points. They haven't been playing well. I, the defense is okay. It, it just doesn't matter. Like, we can pick – like, we can sit here and pick apart the 2022 Tennessee Titans – and there's some stuff to talk about. The defense has played okay. Like you said, they're not all-stars, but they keep them in games. Um, the defense is definitely why not why this team's losing. We can pick apart everything. Mike Vrabel, I still believe, is a good coach. I think we have some coordinators who don't know what they're doing. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we beat Jacksonville and waltz in the playoffs. You think we're beating Kansas City with Malik Willis? Really? Come on. It's not happening. Um, that's just my – it's a bigger picture. That's